Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I'll tell you how I'm doing. Not well, bitch. That's the holy whore. Jealous of what? Your ugly leather pants? Should I bow to you? Okay. Damn it. Bad weather, tornado, spin the truth, destroy. <laughs> Hello Burberry Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills. Guys, I have some iced tea for you because we haven't had iced tea in a while. And we need to talk about Miss Jen Shop. But before we get into it, like always, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. It really helps me a lot. If you are new here and you want to join the Burberry Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this mess. Guys, things are finally getting clear with Erica Jane, little by little, you know. And now we're gonna have to start soon with the Jen Show, the Jen Show Show. You know what I mean? That's gonna be our next show because I think it's going down. And we have the first, you know, little things that are happening over there. Okay, so basically, Jen Show lawyers have filed a motion to have the charges drop, uh, and they're saying that the cops trick her into talking really look at this point i was i was expecting a little bit more than this but we're going to talk about this in a second okay now the prosecutors are denying shaw's allegations and are asking the judge to deny her motion you know like no that's a lie and that didn't happen. Now, Jen Shaw is saying that she did not voluntarily waive her Miranda rights and the prosecutors are saying that they have a video footage of her signing the form, so waiving the rights, okay? Now, she is saying that at the moment she signed, she had blurry contact lens. And the prosecutors are saying, girl, yes, this was, this was true, but not to the extent to cause any pain or discomfort, and the agents help her fix them before she signed. So basically, what Jen Shaw is saying that, that she was blind, like, I don't know, I don't know, nothing, I don't see, you know, and they were like, oh, sign here, sign here, and she was like, okay, yes, okay. Girl, I mean, you know that I like Jen Shaw, okay? But I was expecting a little bit more. Now, Jen Shaw said from the beginning, from the day that she was arrested, I am innocent and I'm going to prove to all of you that I am innocent. Okay. Is this your proof that you were blind and they make you sign a paper? Because I'm so sorry. But if the FBI, CIA, the war, you know, is going after me and they put a paper in front of me and they ask me to sign, call me crazy, but I will, I will read what is in front of me before I sign it. I will say, I'm not going to sign anything until I see a lawyer. I will say, I don't know, like I can't see. So it breaks in my heart that this is the first move from Jen Shaw because honestly, I was expecting so much. She is saying that she's innocent, that she's wrongfully being accused, and I'm here for it, but like, where is the proof? Are you gonna tell me that your only proof is that you have blurry contact lens and they make you sign a paper and not that's why they are prosecuting you with this huge telemarketing scam that is happening? girl I need you to do better because honestly I mean now her lawyers are saying that the prosecutors present a bare bones wire fraud and conspiracy theory that does not adequately allege either require elements of intent to the fraud so basically that the proof that they present wasn't like really enough to charge her 
with fraud and all of these things um we need someone to show you to show us what they're trying to say because i mean apparently the prosecutor sent over a million pages of proof and that's why they asked for the, this whole extension because they they needed to go through all of it okay so at this point i'm being like i'm so sorry i love i mean i like jen but I think I'm gonna go with the prosecutor's side until I see more proof that she is innocent. Because honestly, this doesn't really tell me that much. This is just like, oh, let's just say anything to make more time to see what is gonna happen. I need more. I need more, you know? And the only thing is that in this case, if she, you know that if she is guilty or if she's, um, how do you say that, like accused, uh, she can go up to 50 years to jail. So this is it. So I don't know why she's playing so casually with such a bad... Uh, I mean, when, when she can get such a bad result. I mean, she needs to be more on top of it. Who are these lawyers that she hired? Because I, I feel that this is not enough. I mean, honestly, after all this time, you're going to come here and tell me that you have blur blurry eye contacts and that you didn't know what you were signing were you being arrested for shoplifting or something no you were arresting for the fraud hundreds of people around the united states and they're really trying to take you down and this is the best that that your lawyers can do god no mm -mm. i told you for this from the beginning okay because i used to like jen uh, you know from watching the last season but i cannot get on board just blindly i am not about blind uh loyalty okay i need proof i need to know that if she's saying that she's innocent that she is innocent you know and at this point it doesn't look like she's innocent at all and it is what it is girl so if she is guilty and she needs to go down well it is what it is because honestly she if she is guilty she stole a bunch of money from older people and that's pretty disgusting too okay this is not tax evasion you know this is not like i forgot to do my taxes for the last 10 years no this is literally going and taking money from older people And then go to a, into a reality show to show everything that you have. Like, ugh, I can't. Seriously. Seriously. If you are thinking to go into reality TV, do not have skeletons in the closet. Or maybe that heavy skeletons in the closet, okay? Just stupid drama, you know? Oh, I cheated on my husband. Okay, whatever. Who cares? Okay, you will, you will get through that. But really scamming and, and fraud and money laundry and like all this bullshit that these girls get into it's like are they dumb how are you that smart to have such a huge fraud thing you know and and, and being so dumb at the same time to go into a reality show honestly i can't i can't Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.